object data button and under head and head selected we're going to come down here to weight and type in 0.5 and enter and left click assign okay now i'm just going to press tab and select weight paint and as you can see it applies a nice uniform 0.5 weighting to the entire base of his neck okay i'm just going to press tab and come back into object mode and that's the process really for weighting certain joints and areas of the the body I'm just going to left select the armature press tab and left select pose mode i'm going to press r twice just to rotate okay and that's not looking too bad just going to right click snap that back to its location okay i'm going to press tab sorry i'm going to press z and left select wireframe and just press a to deselect that bone okay under the armature panel i am going to press and hold shift and just switch on this layer here and as you can see this turns on the armature that these control bones are connected to and if i press n bring up the property panel and under item you can see they're named here and if you want to rename them for any reason to make it easier to find in the in the properties viewport or finder you can just left click in here and rename okay so this is the head etc etc as you go down along okay i'm just going to come back over here and hide this i'm going to press z and bring back up solid okay again under the armature panel you can turn on x-ray so you can you can see all these control items and if you come down to the bottom of this panel you can see that the the rig properties are in here you can switch between fk and ik you can switch these are switches you can switch off fk or you can switch off ik you can also leave them switched on and just toggle between so if i left select this bone here which is the shin fk left if i press r twice and just rotate maybe rotate back rather than forward okay just like this you have complete control over this as the fk is set to 100 percent here okay. if i grab this slider and drag it to the right and press r again for this i've no control it's it's been the ik has 100 percent control over it okay okay if you grab the slider and bring this back you can see the bone snaps back to where it was and again i can press r and you have control so you so this is where you can control the influence and this is where you can switch them on or off okay i'm just going to press alt r and just knock that back to its location uh, today i want to add some shape keys to his face i just want to make some facial expressions i'm not going to be doing much more waiting with this character because he, blender has done a pretty fantastic job and i'm happy with the the results i'll be using this character in a animation series that i'm working on and i'm going to be using this rig so i'm happy enough with him so i'm just going to press n to remove this property panel i'm going to press tab and left select object mode i'm going to select left select the character and come over here to the object data panel okay and i'm going to come down here to shape keys and left click plus and that pops in the bases which is this this is how he looks right now this is his base pose 
so to speak. I'm going to left click and add. I'm going to double click here and just rename this. I'm going to call this whistle. And press enter. And under minimum, I'm going to type minus 0.5 and enter. And I'm just going to grab this value and turn it up to 1. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to press tab and enter edit mode. Okay, I'm going to press control tab and left select face. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to press and hold alt and left select this entire ring around here. I'm going to press O and turn on proportional editing. You see it switches on here. You can toggle between it. You can either or click in here and just click enable. Okay. I'm going to press S to scale, X for the X axis. And now I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel to reduce the influence. And just bring that in slightly. Okay. Just going to push in. Left click to lock that in. I'm going to press G to move Y for the Y axis and just drag that out again. I can use the proportional editing just to reduce the influence. Left click when I'm happy. I'm just going to press 1 and maybe drag this down slightly. I'm going to press S again. X for the X axis and just scale this in. Okay. S to scale. Z for the Z axis and maybe just scale this up slightly just to give a bit of an O shape to his mouth. Left click to lock that in. Okay. That wouldn't be too bad looking. Just going to press 1 again for front view. I'm going to press S to scale x for the x-axis and just maybe push them in like that okay that's not too bad i'm going to press tab now and left select edit mode I'm just going to press a to deselect i'm going to come over here to the object and come down and just uncheck wire okay and come back to the object data button and now we can select, left select here and just drag the value down. Okay, the minus 0.5 value actually helps give you an extra expression. That's not too bad. It looks okay. Okay, I'm just going to right click and going to left click here and just type in zero and enter and that goes back to normal okay i'm going to press Control s and save that and that's going to be it for this tutorial i'm probably going to add a couple more shape keys in the next tutorial so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time goodbye hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series okay today i'm going to continue where we left off the last time and i'm just going to add a smile to the character okay so under object data i'm going to come back down here to shape keys and left click plus i'm going to double click in here and rename this to smile and press enter and i'm just going to left click in the minimum and type in minus 0.5 and press enter I'm just going to grab this value and left select and drag it up to the right or a hundred percent i'm going to press tab now and left select edit mode i want to with this ring selected i'm going to press s to scale and x for the x-axis and just drag this out maybe just increase the area of influence with 
proportional editing again you can press o to talk to press to turn it on on and off i'm just gonna press n i'm sorry you know and turn on the screencast keys okay i'm gonna press Control tab and left select vertex I'm going to left select this one and maybe press and hold shift and select the opposite one i'm going to press g to move z for the z axis and just try and form a smile try and keep a nice curve to the shape of his mouth okay left click i'm just gonna left click and lock that in i'm gonna press s to scale x for the x axis and maybe widen that small bit left click to lock that in okay it looks a, doesn't look too bad we could left click this here press and hold shift and just press g and just pull this up slightly left click to lock that in press a and go, or press l just on his eyebrows and press r or maybe i can press s to scale x and drag these out a small bit just to give a little bit of movement Okay, I'm just going to press A to deselect. I'm going to press L and I'm going to press R. Left click and press A to deselect. L to select this one and press R. And maybe rotate this slightly. Left click. And what I'm going to do is press Tab and enter Edit Mode. Okay, I'm just going to left click in here and type 0. Okay, that snaps it back to its default pose so i'm just going to left select and grab and see what happens okay so that's not too bad it's not the worst smile in the world and if we just drag down minus you can see he's got a bit of a frown <laughs> so that works good okay just right click to snap that back to its location okay that'll do me and i'm just going to press Control s and left select save and that's going to be it for this tutorial and actually that's going to be it for this series hopefully you enjoyed watching it and you've learned something and your rig and your character turned out well i'm going to be using this like i said previously i'm going to be using this character in a short animation series i'm working on and I will be using this rig. So hopefully, if you get a chance, you might check it check it out. But for now, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this series. I certainly enjoyed making it. And hopefully I'll see you again sometime. So thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye. Hi and welcome. In this lecture, I want to add a freestyle type material to our character. Okay, and freestyle is, it's a non-photo realistic render. And it, it produces a hand-drawn look to the characters and objects in the scene. And it can be quite nice. I'm just going to set up a basic enough material. And that will include the character material and the lighting. Okay, so let's take a look at doing that. So first off, I want to come over to the world settings. And just to note, we're in Blender Render. This is for the internal Blender Render engine. Okay, and I'm going to enable the Blend Sky and the Real Sky. And I'm going to change this horizon color to a just a nice blue color. And I'm going to change this color to a white color. Something like that. And the real, I'm going to leave the ambient color as black. OK, 
Okay, and we want 